Hello everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Today I have a new session on Salesforce API call. In this session, we learn if there is an image stored in a rich text area field of Salesforce, how we can retrieve that through an API call. So, if you see, I have listed here five different steps what we are supposed to do as part of this demo. First, we will create a rich text area field. Let's say we will give it a name called photo. In a custom object, any custom object you can take, but in this demonstration, I will take a custom object called employee. Second step we will do, we will try to create a record on that. So, while creating the record in that particular rich text area, we will put a photo. And in step number 4 and step number 5, we will try to retrieve that photo using Salesforce API call. First, what we will do, we will create a rich text area field called photo. So, what I will do, I will try to duplicate this tab. And we will go to employee tab. Here, uh, I have already created a rich text area type field. If we just edit it, you will see the field is a rich text area type field. And here you can cut and paste any image you want. For example, I have the Google image now. So if you wanted to get a new image, let's say Yahoo. So you can just uh, crop it. Let's crop it, copy it, and try to put it in this rich text area field. And save this record. You see, we have captured a photo in a rich text area. Okay, and the object we have is called employee, and the field name is photo. The next step what we will do is, we will try to retrieve it through an API call. Okay, for doing that, for doing that API call, what we will use, we will use the post map. The postman is a commonly used REST API client, so we will prefer to do that in post map. Okay. While doing that postman, one of the things which we need is the access token. In this demonstration, because of the time limitation, I will not show you how to do the access token generation. For that, I have already created a video. I will share you that video link in the description. Okay. So, what we will do right now is, we will do one of the quickest thing what we can do is, you can just type your Salesforce LWC dot Hericoop dot com. Here, provide your the org details, whether it is a dev org or a sandbox. For me, it's a dev org. Username, password. If you have the security token, provide that. Login. Then, once you logged in, there is a show more button here. Show more. Just click on that show more button. You will see the base URL and the access token. This is the quickest way you can generate the access token. If you don't want it to generate the access token, uh, you can do it directly through this way. Okay. Otherwise, I have the video link. I will provide that how to create a connected app and all those things. Then security token and all those things. Then only you can do the access token. Okay. Now. Let's move it here. The first thing in step 4, we'll use Postman REST client to get the record details. So, this is the URL of my org, okay, for the record which I'm trying to uh, get it. Here, you can see one thing this is the record ID which would be dynamic, and this is the object name. If you have any ob other object, let's say contact, instead of employee underscore underscore C, you put contact. 
if you are using account so instead of employee underscore underscore c you use account if you have any custom object then custom object name underscore underscore c okay and this would be your base url up to this point up to this point after the service and all it is not the base url up to this point it is the base url if you don't know your base url also through this Salesforce lwc app you can get the base url here is the base url okay you cannot directly see it unless you click on show more button if you see show less show more show less show more if you do show more you can get it okay now i'm moving to postman putting the url here then the resource url resource url in our case is this one okay this one up to this point is the resource url now let's put that here we need to make this dynamic right this record id we'll remove it we'll get the record id from here record id you can get from any salesforce url record id put it here but you will not able to get the record details unless and until you provide the access token that access token you have to provide through the header just click on this header tab then you type authorization after the authorization you have to type b a r e r ok space access token name access token where you will get the access token you can get it from here ok copy After the barrier, you just put it here. You have to maintain one space, paste it, then send it. Yeah, sorry, here you have to do B as capital B, okay. B A R E R then the access token. You can see the record details we have received. Let me pull it little bit up so that you can clearly see it. So this is the record details, but at the last you will see there is a rich text area which we referred for the image is called photo, and that we have a URL already added. In this URL you will see there is a reference id here rep id this rep id we need in our next call so what we will do is in our next call what we have to do we have the base url everything is there so up to record id already we have and on top of it we will add this much okay rich text image field then the field name and the reference id we received on the call number four sorry step number four okay up to this point we have we need to maintain that after that append this is the record id this is the this text area field and we need to fill up this thing this rep id which is dynamic this rep id where we'll get we have the rep id here just copy that and put that at the end okay this time also you have to provide the header access token but as i have already added the header it is already present okay so send this you see we have received the image this is the image we have captured here in the rich text area and the same image we are getting through the api call this is how you can get a image 
which is stored in a rich text area of Salesforce record or field through the API call. For this API, you just have to go with the standard API. You don't have to write any custom API for this. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye bye.